Earth hit by solar storm, causing explosion of light, and it's not over yet. Well, there's been a lot of people that are sky watching, and they've noticed explosions of light, especially in the North Pole, close to the North Pole, that is, because of the live cams that they have there, they're watching, and they can't explain what it is. And they call it light plasma. But uh, what is it? This is by Sean Martin on Express UK. A solar storm has hit the Earth, causing an explosion of light, and researchers warn we are set to suffer the consequences for another few days. Earth is currently in the crosshairs of a solar storm heading straight from a gaping hole in the surface of the sun's atmosphere, and the stream of these particles first collided with our atmosphere a few days ago, causing an explosion of light. As the Earth's magnetosphere gets bombarded by these solar winds, stunning blue and green lights can appear over the upper reaches of the northern hemisphere and, of course, the lower parts of the southern hemisphere, known as the northern and southern lights, the aurora borealis, as we know, the northern lights. The storm first made contact with Earth February 28. The space weather star stated first contact with the stream February 28 caused an explosion of light over Rovaniemi in Finland. Photographer Jani Lamampa said these auroras were quite bright for over half an hour and the climax lasted for nearly 10 minutes, flaming literally all over the sky. Definitely one of the best shows of the season, he said. But the show is not over yet because space weather states that we will be caught in the solar storm for another two days at least. Website, website reads monitor minor G1 class geomagnetic storms are underway March 1st and we have one coming in the next few days as well. Fast moving stream of solar wind buffets Earth's magnetic field. This gaseous material is flowing from a wide hole in the sun's atmosphere. It's so wide that Earth could remain inside that stream for another two days, while the solar storm is only considered minor. The consequences could be far more serious than the appearance of another northern or southern lights. For the most part, the Earth's magnetic field protects humans from the barrage of solar radiation, but solar storms can affect satellite-based technology. Solar winds can heat the atmosphere of the Earth, causing it to expand, and this can affect satellites in orbit, potentially leading to lack of GPS navigation, mobile phone signals, and satellite TV. Also, a surge of particles can lead to high currents in the magnetosphere, which can lead to higher than normal electricity in power lines, therefore resulting in electrical transformers and power stations, blowouts, and a loss of power, as we know, blackout. Now, so higher amounts of radiation also leave people, of course, vulnerable to cancer. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.